Alright guys, so as you can see from that beginning clip, this is what I've been kind of waiting on and keeping a secret. So the VMP Gen 3 R is what we're going to be going with on the GT500. It's kind of what I've been waiting for and I've known about it for a little while and I've been seeing it, talking with Justin over at VMP Performance. And I've been following the process as, you know, basically it's been coming out and we're putting one of those on this car next week. As you guys know, I have a 2.3 liter TVS blower. This is the factory supercharger that comes in 1314, also known as a Trinity supercharger. This is a fantastic blower and you can make up to about 800 wheel horsepower with basically everything thrown at it. That's an elbow, a E85 and a lot of timing and a lower pulley. Now, we are gonna be switching to the Gen 3R and we're gonna be able to make probably about 800 wheel horsepower with 93 and boosting. So I'm really excited to get that swapped on. We're not gonna to have to work that Gen 3R quite as hard as we would have to basically max effort this blower to make 800. I do plan to make somewhere around 900. I have the cams right over there, the clutch and everything over there. I'm gonna to try to swap the Gen 3R on and make some power then do the clutch um, after next week. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if the clutch is gonna start slipping or not. I do have it here, um, but we're just gonna put the blower on, see if it slips, and I'm doing the clutch anyways either way. So the Gen 3 R has the ability to make a lot of power. So I am considering doing a build motor in this car eventually. I do wanna put the cams in, put the blower on, put the fuel system, do everything we can with stock motor and hopefully not blow it up because uh, these 5.8 liter blocks are pretty expensive. But I do plan to probably look into a built motor somewhere down the line, just gotta talk with some companies, figure out some things, uh, because these things are not cheap at all. So I'm super excited to get the Gen 3 R on the car. We're gonna make some good power and I'm gonna finally, once we get the suspension going and the clutch and probably fuel system or something like that, basically my plan is to take this out of the track and run a nine first time out and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I also have a watt box for it but I've been keeping the secret on the gen 3 R because that's why I didn't have a gen 3 already um, when we were waiting for the long tubes we got the long tubes in and it sounds killer I'm gonna come out with an exhaust sound clip video um, pretty soon but this thing sounds amazing so I'm gonna bring you guys along on the way of kind of building this thing from the where it is now to you know this monster of a car we're gonna see what we can do with the 67 millimeter throttle body this combo right here a 67 millimeter throttle body JLT 123 is a very, very good driving combo. We may have to go to a 148 JLT and a bigger throttle body, but we will see how that goes and I will bring you guys along for the way. Uh, now, I did make 692 rear wheel horsepower with a larger elbow, but we did take it off since I was just basically borrowing it. I was just trying to test out, see what we could do with the basically stock setup. We did kind of hit a wall, you know, with not having the headers. Now the car should be making somewhere over 700 wheel horsepower on this setup with the headers. Um, because it made as much as I think 670 without the elbow. It made 690 with the elbow. So the elbow actually does definitely increase some horsepower, um, but we're going for some big numbers here. We're gonna be going for right around 800 if that clutch will hold um, with the Gen 3 R. And then of course we'll do all the other stuff uh, very soon. Now my goal with the car is to basically have a few different setups that I can switch around, a few different pulley setups. Um, but what I wanted to avoid is basically having to run E85 all the time because it is kind of a pain. So I'm gonna have a 93 and boosting mixture or probably even just a 93 tune. Um, and I'll have an E85 tune. So that way I have many different options and I can drive the car. With the Cobra, I ended up not driving as much once I switched over to full E85 because it made such a difference in the driving experience. Lund had the Gen 3 R on their built GT500, a 5.8 car, made incredible power. I'll insert a clip here and definitely go check out the full video.
Okay, what ended up happening was, on the last pull, the car spun severely on the dyno to the point where it just slammed the limiter. Okay, so... <laughs> so, we did what we set out to do, back suffer. Uh, senior sent it, he sent it, alright. Um, 1290, 1060, holy crap. BNP also tested a Gen 3R on Grant's car, which is a white local 14 GT500. That thing is a beast. It laid out incredible power. I'll insert another clip right here. No secret sauce, just run of the mill, good for 99% of the people. 1100, 941. Awesome, mm -hmm. freaking awesome. 1140. 916. Another 40 wheel horsepower, almost doubling our gains with the secret sauce blower. Now, I just want to talk briefly about the differences between this one, um, VMP's old Gen 2, and a Gen 3 and Gen 3R. So, this one is a 2.3 liter Eaton rotor pack. This is actually the same rotor pack that VMP sold in their VMP Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2R. Their Gen 1 was very similar. Their Gen 2 had a significantly larger elbow. Gen 2R had a much larger elbow. Gen 3 then had 2.65 Eaton rotor packs stuffed into a case like this. And then now the Gen 3R is very similar, but through testing and R&D, they were able to basically large in the back inlet right here. They were able to make this significantly larger, um, and they have the integrated elbow, and now they have the factory GT500 bolt pattern, and they're making that with Magnuson. I'll of course have a lot more info once we go down there to swap it over, but I just wanna give you guys some basic info on what we're doing with the GT500. Um, behind me, we still have the S550, I feel like I have to mention that you know all the time because you guys don't watch my videos that I actually update things on But yes, this car is still here chilling um, battery keeps dying, but you know regardless And quick update in the driveway. It is packed um, This thing absolutely rips. We have a video of that coming John's truck on the dyno that video is coming We have some Daytona truck meet some stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy that and look forward to those videos Got some wheels over there that I'm not gonna show you. And yeah, so I'm super excited to make some power in this thing. So guys, make sure you slack that like button, leave a comment, do it right now. Let us know what you think. The likes and comments are super important. They help these videos do well and help me do everything that I do here. So I definitely appreciate everything you guys do. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you guys wanna pick up a Mustang Lifestyle key tag or t-shirt, I'll have links down in the description down below. Look forward, we're gonna be looking at about a week from now, Gen 3R is gonna go on. And I'm trying to do daily uploads and keep things interesting for you guys. Um, I did notice some of the Rhode Island videos didn't do that that well which I thought was kind of confusing because they're fun and a little bit different but you guys let me know what you think leave a comment down below we will see you guys next time